Have you ever kept a secret that felt like it was a key to something special inside you? Can advice from a very long time ago help us with today's problems? And how can being humble, listening more, and not going overboard with things make our lives better? These are big questions, right? They make us think deeply about life and the quiet truths that help guide us. Today, we're starting a special journey together. We're going to talk about 10 secrets that should never be shared. This isn't just any talk. It's inspired by old wisdom from Buddhism, but made easy for us to understand today. This journey is about more than just keeping things to ourselves. It's about finding a deeper, more meaningful way to live. Imagine finding peace in the small things, being strong by staying quiet, and being brave by accepting what we don't know with an open heart. The ancient lessons from Buddha are like a light, showing us how to find calm and understanding in the busy and loud world we live in. We're here to share a story of discovery and wisdom with you, a story that could change how you see everything around you. We're diving into lessons that show us how to live better, love more, and find happiness in being true to ourselves. So, we invite you to come along on this adventure. Listen closely, think deeply, and let's explore these secrets together. If you find something in our talk today that speaks to you, that makes you see things a little differently, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Wisdom in Real Life. Here, we make the deep and meaningful easy to understand and the old teachings always relevant to our lives today. Stick with us until the end to really get the full picture of these secrets that shape a life full of purpose and peace. 1. The Secret of Your Personal Journey of Enlightenment Starting on a journey of self-discovery is like embarking on an adventure where every step tells you more about who you are. This path is your very own, unlike anyone else's, filled with personal discoveries and lessons that are just for you. It's a road that dives deep into your heart and soul, helping you uncover the real you that lies beneath all the daily hustle. Picture yourself on a quiet walk through a path only you know, where each turn reveals a new, hidden part of yourself. This is what it means to go on your own enlightenment journey. It's about slowly uncovering your own truths, those soft inner whispers that feel deeply right to you. This journey is your chance to slowly peel back the layers of yourself, finding treasures of insight and understanding that are meant just for you, away from the noise of the world. On this path, there's something special about keeping these discoveries to yourself. Sharing every step of your journey might water down their magic. These moments of personal growth and realizations are like precious letters written just for you, guiding you toward a deeper connection with life and your role in it. Humility is your companion on this journey. It reminds us that while we each have our own paths, we're all searching for something more. By staying humble, we recognize there's so much we don't know, opening our hearts to endless learning and growth. Facing tough times is also part of the journey. Each challenge is a chance to grow stronger and more resilient. They push us to look inside and find strength we didn't know we had, showing us that enlightenment comes not from avoiding life's storms, but from walking through them with courage and an open heart. This journey also teaches us to let go of who we think we are based on what we own or what job we have. True peace comes when we understand we're more than these things. This insight frees us from the weight of material things and leads us to a deeper, more meaningful life. It's important to stick to what you believe in, even when it gets tough. In a world full of noise, it's easy to forget what truly matters to us. Your journey is about honoring your unique voice and letting it guide you, staying true to yourself through it all. Meditation and quiet time are keys to unlocking your inner world. They help us quiet down the noise around us and connect with a deep silence inside. In this silence, we meet our true selves, untouched by the world's chaos. This journey isn't about reaching a specific place. It's about the experiences, insights, and lessons we find along the way. Each step and breath 
brings us closer to understanding the essence of who we are. By sharing this first secret with you, we're inviting you to cherish your own journey of finding yourself. It's a path only you can walk, but along the way, you'll find stories, teachings, and quiet understandings that connect us all in the search for deeper meaning. Let's keep exploring these secrets together, shaping a journey filled with your own unique stories, lessons, and insights. Hold them close, take care of them, and let them light your way to the peace and understanding that waits within. 2. The Value of Silence in Trusted Confidences When someone tells us a secret, it's like they're giving us a tiny, invisible treasure. They're trusting us with a piece of their story, something just for us to know. Keeping that secret is a big deal. It's like promising to keep their treasure safe. It shows we care and that we're a good friend or listener. It's really important because it helps build trust between people, making our friendships stronger and deeper. Listening and keeping secrets isn't just about not telling others, it's about understanding how special and important these moments are. When we keep a secret, we're saying, I'm here for you and your story is safe with me. This makes people feel supported and understood, knowing they have someone they can trust. Choosing to stay quiet and keep a secret also shows a lot about our character. It tells people we respect their feelings and stories enough not to share them with others. This kind of silence is really powerful. It's not about not having anything to say. It's about knowing when not to say anything at all. In a world where everyone is quick to share everything, being someone who can keep a secret is really special. This idea of keeping quiet and respecting others' secrets is something Buddha talked about too. He said we should speak kindly, truthfully, and at the right time. Keeping a secret is a perfect example of this. It means we know the value of words and the silence between them. It's about protecting someone's story, not hiding it. When we keep secrets, we also get a chance to grow. It makes us think about our own lives and feelings, helping us understand ourselves and others better. This doesn't mean we're alone with these secrets. It means we're trusted with them. This trust can make us feel more connected to the people around us, making our relationships richer and more meaningful. But keeping a secret can be tough, especially today when sharing is just a click away. The real challenge is choosing to keep that secret even when it might be tempting to tell. This choice shows we're strong and value our friendships more than just a moment of gossip. It's a sign of our integrity and the importance we place on personal connections. There's a kind of peace that comes with keeping secrets. It's knowing we're doing the right thing, respecting others' privacy, and in turn, finding a quiet calm within ourselves. This peace isn't just good for us. It spreads to our friendships and the world around us, making everything a little nicer, a little kinder. By keeping secrets, we send out good vibes into the world. It's like throwing a pebble into a pond and watching the ripples spread out. When we choose to protect someone's secret, we're spreading trust and kindness, which comes back to us in many wonderful ways. Keeping secrets is really about celebrating our connections with others. It's about understanding that while we all have our own stories, our lives are linked. And in those connections, we find moments of real friendship and understanding. So, as we go on this journey together, let's remember the value of keeping secrets. It's a chance to show we're there for others, to build trust, and to make our relationships even stronger. Keeping a secret is a silent promise, a promise that says, you matter to me, and so does your story. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Personal Failures and the Road to Redemption Life is a bit like riding a bike. Sometimes we fall off. It might scrape our knees or bruise our pride, but it's also how we learn to ride better. These falls, these mistakes, are really just lessons in disguise. They're not fun, but they're part of growing up and getting better at navigating life. Remember a time you messed up? Maybe you felt really bad about it, but after some time you saw it differently. 
That mistake taught you something important, something you needed to learn to move forward. This is the silver lining in those cloudy moments, finding out that every mistake has something to teach us. Learning from our mess-ups is a very personal thing. It's about taking a deep breath, stepping back, and really looking at what happened. We don't need to tell the whole world about it. What's important is that we're honest with ourselves. We see what went wrong, learn from it, and decide to do better next time. Being humble helps a lot with this. It lets us see that making mistakes doesn't mean we're failures. It just means we're human and still learning. With a humble heart, we can forgive ourselves and maybe even find the strength to ask for forgiveness from others if we need to. Getting back up after a fall shows a lot about who we are. It's not about never making mistakes, it's about how we handle them when we do. Each time we pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and try again, we're showing just how brave and strong we really are. Our journey through mistakes and learning is a path we walk on our own. It's a chance to look inside and really get to know ourselves, what makes us tick, what we're good at, and what we need to work on. Letting go of past mistakes helps us move forward without any extra weight holding us back. Sticking to what we believe in can be hard, especially when we've made a mistake that makes us doubt ourselves. But it's important to keep going, to stay true to our dreams and values. This faithfulness to our own path is what leads us to true growth and happiness. Taking time to be quiet and think things through is a big part of this process. When we're alone with our thoughts, we can see things more clearly. Meditation can be a big help here. It's a way to calm down the noise around us and find a peaceful spot inside where we can heal and grow. This road we're on isn't about getting to a certain place where we never make mistakes. It's about learning and growing every day. Each mistake is a chance to learn something new, to become a little wiser and a little kinder to ourselves and others. I hope this talk helps you see your own mistakes in a new light. They're not the end of the world. They're part of being alive, part of learning how to be the best version of yourself. These bumps in the road are what shape us, teaching us important lessons that help us live more fully and happily. Let's look at our mistakes as steps on the path to becoming who we're meant to be. By learning from them, we're not just moving past them, we're growing into stronger, kinder people. This is the beauty of life, finding our way through the ups and downs and discovering the joy and peace that come from knowing we're always learning, always growing. Four, the pursuit of ambitions with humility and focus. Going after our dreams is like heading out on a big adventure. It's not just about getting to the end, it's also about enjoying the ride. When we chase our dreams with a down-to-earth attitude, and keep our eyes on the prize. It's like walking with our heeds in the clouds but our feet firmly on the ground. This way, we can reach high while still appreciating each step along the path. Think of it like this. Every small step towards your goal is a part of the big journey. It's all about moving forward with a clear purpose, but also being okay with the fact that sometimes plans change. Each step teaches us something new and helps us grow. When we go after what we want with humility, it means we remember that the journey and the people we meet along the way are just as important as reaching our goal. It's about knowing that getting to the top is cool, but the climb up there, with all its lessons and challenges, matters a lot too. Being humble keeps us open to learning new things, reminding us that there's always room to get better, no matter how much we achieve. Staying focused on our dreams takes a lot of dedication. It means not getting distracted by what everyone else thinks or says. In a world that often looks at success as having lots of stuff or big achievements, keeping our eyes on what really matters to us is key. The road to our dreams isn't always smooth. We'll face tough times, but these aren't stops. They're just bumps that make us stronger and smarter about how we get to where we want to be. When we hit these bumps, Staying humble and focused helps us move past them without giving up. One of the biggest steps is to not worry too much about what others think. It's more important to be happy with our own effort and progress. 
This way, we find joy in what we do, not just in the cheers we might get at the end. Being true to ourselves and what we believe in is super important when we're working towards something big. It means really knowing who we are and sticking by it, even when it's tough. This truth is what makes our goals worth it and ensures that when we do make it, it feels right because it's a true reflection of us. Taking a little time for quiet thought or meditation can really help too. These peaceful moments let us touch base with ourselves, clear our minds, and just enjoy now, even as we work for tomorrow. Our dreams are personal to us, and while sharing them can be good for support, we should remember that this journey is ours alone. Sure, it's nice when people cheer us on, but the real push should come from inside us, from wanting to reach our goals for ourselves. In sharing these ideas on going after your dreams with a grounded approach and a clear mind, I hope to encourage you to follow your path with intention, grit, and self-understanding. It's a reminder that the chase itself, with all its ups and downs, is what really helps you grow. So let's hold on to our dreams with open hearts and sharp minds, remembering that it's not just about where we're going, but how we get there. This journey, with all its steps, is what fills our lives with real richness and meaning. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Navigating Family Dynamics with Respect and Privacy Handling family life is like steering a boat on a winding river. It's about moving smoothly with the current, giving everyone enough space, and knowing when to pull together or give a little space for peace. In a family, showing respect, understanding everyone's space, and keeping things private are key to keeping everyone happy and close. Think of your family as a team. Each member of the team has their own thoughts and feelings. It's like everyone has their own special story. Listening more, helping without stepping on toes, and letting everyone be themselves is really important. This helps everyone feel safe and happy to share what's on their mind, knowing they won't be laughed at or ignored. Keeping family stuff private is super important, kind of like the secret ingredient in a recipe that makes it special. When family matters stay within the family, it builds trust and makes everyone feel secure. It's about making sure home is a place where everyone feels safe to be themselves without worrying about outsiders. Finding common ground on family matters is a lot like finding the best path through the river. Sometimes, you need to go a little left or a little right so everyone can move forward together. This helps keep things calm and everyone gets along better, even when they see things differently. It's awesome when families celebrate what makes each person special. Just like a garden looks beautiful with all kinds of flowers, a family shine is when everyone's uniqueness is celebrated not just tolerated. This means understanding that what makes us different is actually what makes the family stronger and more colorful. Talking openly and honestly is like the sunshine for a family. It helps everyone grow closer. Sure, not every chat will be easy, but talking with respect and trying to understand each other can turn tough talks into chances to grow closer. Being patient with each other is really important just like plants need time to grow. Knowing that everyone makes mistakes and that it takes time to get better at things helps everyone be more kind and forgiving, especially when things get a bit tricky. Setting boundaries is like putting up a gentle fence around a garden. It helps everyone know how much space they can enjoy without getting into someone else's space. This is a way of showing we care and respect each other, making sure everyone feels happy and safe. Letting go of hard feelings and forgiving each other is how a family keeps its heart healthy. Holding on to anger is like letting weeds take over a garden. Choosing to forgive, even when it's tough, helps heal old hurts and makes room for happier times. Trying to see things from each other's point of view is super important. It's like putting down roots that keep the family strong and together. It means we care about how others feel and try our best to understand, which makes everyone feel loved and supported and don't forget to cheer for each other. Whether someone did something amazing or needs a hug after a tough day, being there for each other through good times and bad is what family is all about. 
it's like the changing seasons in a garden. There's a time to grow and a time to rest, but through it all, the family's love is what keeps everything going. Navigating family life with kindness, respect, and a bit of privacy isn't always simple, but it's definitely worth it. It's like tending to a beautiful garden. With a bit of care and love, the family becomes a place of warmth, support, and laughter, ready to face anything together. This is what makes a family not just a group of people who live together, but a team that loves and supports each other no matter what. 6. Financial Matters A Reflection on Modesty and Satisfaction Talking about money and how we handle it can teach us a lot about happiness and being content with what we have. It's not always about having the most money or the fanciest things, but about appreciating what's in our life right now. It's like enjoying a quiet walk, noticing the beauty around us without rushing to the next big thing. Think of handling money as a calm walk in the park. We move forward, making choices with care and being thankful for what we've got. It's not about showing off or competing with others, but about feeling good on the inside, because we know what really matters to us. Being modest with our money means we don't brag about what we own or spend. We understand that our true worth isn't about our wallet size, but about who we are as people. This approach lets us share what we have in quiet, meaningful ways that help others and make us feel good without needing a spotlight. Feeling satisfied with what we have is like finding a cozy spot in the park where we're truly happy just being there. We enjoy what's in front of us without always wanting more. This feeling gives us a deep sense of peace, knowing we're okay just as we are. Avoiding comparisons is important. Just like every tree in the park grows in its own way, we all have different financial journeys. When we stop comparing our journey to others, we start to feel more grateful for our own path and all the good things in it. Choosing simplicity means we focus on what brings us real joy, not just more stuff. Sometimes, the best moments come from the simplest things. By wanting less, we make space in our lives for the things that truly matter, like spending time with family or enjoying a hobby. Being generous with what we have is a way of saying thank you for our blessings. It's not about getting attention, but about sharing from the heart. This kind of giving makes the world a better place and brings us closer to the people around us. Having clear goals for our money helps us walk through life with a purpose. We know what we're working toward, which helps us make smart choices that line up with what's really important to us. These goals keep us on track and motivated. Living within our means is like traveling light. It makes the journey easier. We avoid the heavy load of debt and worry by spending wisely. This smart living gives us freedom and peace of mind, knowing we're taking good care of our future. Taking time to think about why we spend money the way we do can help us understand our habits better. It's about figuring out what's really worth our money and how those choices affect our happiness. This deep thinking can guide us to make better choices that add more joy to our lives. Lastly, celebrating our financial wins, big or small, is like stopping to enjoy the view on our walk. It's recognizing all the hard work we've done, the challenges we've faced, and the progress we've made. These celebrations remind us that we can achieve great things and find happiness in our achievements. Handling money wisely isn't just about the numbers. It's about finding joy in what we have and sharing that joy with others. It teaches us that real richness comes from being content, generous, and true to ourselves more than from what we can buy. This journey, filled with gratitude and simplicity, leads us to a happier, more fulfilling life. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. The Quiet Strength of Anonymous Goodness Doing good things without anyone knowing it's you is like secretly planting flowers in a public park. You might not see them bloom, but you know you've added something beautiful to the world. This kind of secret kindness is really powerful. It shows you care about making someone's day better without wanting any thanks or applause for it. It's all about the happiness and help you give, not about getting a reward or being noticed. 
Think about how special it feels to help someone just because you want to, not because you're looking for a pat on the back. This kind of giving is really pure because it's done from the heart. It's like saying, here, this is for you. I hope it makes your day a little brighter. And then walking away, leaving a little mystery and a lot of kindness behind. When we do kind things without expecting anything back, we learn what giving is really about. It's not about being thanked or recognized. It's about feeling good because you've made someone else's life a little easier or happier. This teaches us to be humble and to find joy in the act of giving itself, which is a beautiful way to live. Secret kindness has a special power to inspire others too. Just one small act of kindness, like paying for the next person's coffee without them knowing who did it, can start a wave of kindness. People feel good when they see kind things happening and they often want to do kind things in return. This can create a chain reaction that makes the whole community a nicer place to live. Doing kind things in secret also helps us understand and care about others more. It makes us think about what other people might need or how we can make their day a little better. This builds a strong feeling of connection and caring between us and the people around us, even if they don't know we're the ones helping. Anonymous kindness shows us that being generous doesn't have to be a big deal. Small, thoughtful actions can mean a lot. It could be something simple like leaving a friendly note for someone to find, or helping out in a way that nobody notices. These acts remind us that it's the thought and the care we put into what we do that really matters. When we help others without them knowing it was us, we get to feel a special kind of happiness. It's a quiet, warm feeling inside that comes from knowing we've made a difference. This happiness is just for us, a secret joy that comes from doing something good. Being kind without showing off also means we're treating others with respect. It lets people feel good about receiving help without feeling embarrassed or like they owe us something. This way, everyone's dignity is kept intact and it shows we're all equal, just trying to help each other out. Choosing to do good things without needing credit for it is a way to focus on what's really important. The kindness itself, not our ego. It helps us think more about others and less about what we get from the situation. This can make us kinder and more caring people in general. Even though we don't look for a reward for our kindness, often good things come back to us in ways we didn't expect. It's like the world has a way of saying thank you even when nobody knows what we did. It's a reminder that good deeds don't go unnoticed, even if they're done in secret. Doing good things quietly is a powerful way to add more kindness to the world. It challenges us to make someone's day better just because we can. By spreading kindness without waiting for a thank you, we make the world a nicer place, one secret act of kindness at a time. 8. The Destructive Nature of Criticism and the Power of Positivity Talking negatively about others or pointing out their flaws can really hurt people and create a lot of negativity. It's like throwing a rock into a pond and watching the ripples spread out, affecting more than just the spot where the rock landed. But when we focus on being positive and saying nice things, it's like spreading sunshine instead of shadows. Let's explore why saying positive things and avoiding negativity can make such a big difference. First, constantly criticizing others can make it hard to have real friendships. It's like putting up invisible walls between us and other people. When we focus on the good things about others instead of the bad, we can build stronger, happier friendships. Negativity can spread really quickly, just like a cold in winter. If one person starts being negative, it can make everyone around them feel bad too. But positivity works the same way. It can lift everyone's mood and make things feel brighter. When we say mean things, those words can stick with someone for a long time and really hurt them. We need to remember that our words are powerful. Saying kind and encouraging things can help heal those hurts and bring a bit of happiness to someone's day. Being critical can make people defensive 
and less likely to listen or change. Positive feedback, though, is like gently watering a plant. It helps people grow and get better without feeling attacked. Focusing too much on what's wrong with others can make us forget to look at our own lives and how we can improve. Being positive helps us reflect on our own actions and become better people, which makes us happier in the long run. Carrying around a lot of negative thoughts can make us feel really heavy and tired. Letting go of those negative thoughts makes us feel lighter and more ready to take on the day with a smile. Sometimes we might be negative because we're feeling insecure or have our own problems. Choosing to be positive helps us deal with our issues in a healthier way instead of taking them out on others. When we're positive, it can inspire the people around us to be their best. It's like being a cheerleader for our friends and family, encouraging them to keep going and to believe in themselves. Choosing to see the good in people and situations isn't just about making others feel better. It also makes us feel better. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. Everything starts to look more hopeful. Finally, when we fill our lives with positive thoughts and actions, we start to attract more good things into our lives. It's like planting a garden that grows and blossoms. This doesn't mean we ignore problems, but it means we face them with hope and kindness. Changing from being negative to being positive isn't just about stopping bad habits. It's about actively spreading goodness and kindness. This choice can change not just our own lives, but also the lives of the people around us, creating a wave of positivity and support. Let's work on lifting each other up with kind words and actions, making the world a brighter place for everyone. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Respecting Diverse Paths to Spiritual Enlightenment In life, everyone's journey to finding their own kind of inner peace and understanding, which you might call spiritual enlightenment, is as unique as every person is. Imagine a garden where every kind of flower is growing, each one different in color, shape, and size. This is a lot like how people all over the world look for and find what makes their soul feel at home. Let's talk about how we can celebrate and respect these different journeys, making our world a kinder and more understanding place. Firstly, it's key to remember that no two journeys are the same. Just like in our garden, some flowers bloom under the bright sun, while others do their best in the shade. People find peace and understanding in so many ways, and each way is special. When we see this as something beautiful, we can learn a lot from each other. Realizing that every path is valuable is super important. It might be tempting to think our way is the only or the best way, but just like a rose and a lily offer their own kinds of beauty, each spiritual journey has something special to share. When we respect this, we can appreciate the richness in our differences. Listening openly and sincerely to others talk about their beliefs is like nurturing our garden with care and attention. It shows we respect them, and we might even find new ideas that touch our hearts, helping us grow too. Having conversations and sharing stories between different beliefs can build bridges between us. It's like gardeners swapping tips and stories, making all the flowers bloom more beautifully. This can help clear up misunderstandings and shine a light on what we all have in common. Being kind and understanding about what others believe is like watering our garden with kindness. It helps everyone feel welcome and valued, and it reminds us that at the heart of it, we're all looking for similar things. Peace, understanding, and a sense of belonging. Respecting how personal and private these journeys can be is crucial. Just as some flowers bloom quietly, away from everyone's eyes, many people experience their spiritual journey in a very personal way. When we respect this, we're showing that we value their experience as something sacred. Learning about different ways people find their peace and understanding can open our minds, much like exploring every part of a beautiful garden. We discover the wisdom and beauty in various traditions and beliefs, enriching our own understanding. Promoting peace and togetherness, even when we all have different beliefs, is like taking care of a garden where every flower is appreciated. 
by focusing on what we share, our humanity and hopes for peace, we can make our world more welcoming for everyone. Celebrating the variety of ways people express their spirituality makes our world a more vibrant and interesting place. Each tradition and belief adds to our collective human experience, showing us that diversity is not just okay, it's something to be celebrated. Finally, walking our own path with honesty while respecting others lays the foundation for a world where everyone's journey is respected. It's about finding our own peace and understanding in a way that also helps make the world a kinder, more respectful place. By embracing the many ways people find meaning and peace, we're not just making our own lives richer, we're helping create a world where everyone feels respected and understood. In this big, beautiful garden of life, we learn that finding spiritual peace isn't about going it alone or competing, but about sharing the journey with kindness, curiosity, and respect. 10. The Intimacy of Personal Mantras and Meditation Practices Having special phrases or words we say to ourselves, and times when we sit quietly and think or breathe deeply, is like discovering a secret garden inside us where everything is calm and bright. These personal sayings and quiet times are very special because they're just for us. They help us feel strong, calm and clear about who we are and what we want in life. Let's talk about why these practices are so important and how they make our lives better. Our own special phrases or mantras are like secret messages that give us power and comfort. They're words we can tell ourselves when things get tough or when we just need a reminder of what's important. These words are our secret tools for keeping our minds and hearts focused on what matters most to us. Sitting quietly, whether we're just breathing deeply or thinking about something peaceful, is like giving our minds a short vacation. This quiet time helps us stop thinking about all the busy, noisy stuff in our world and just relax. It's a way to make everything feel simpler and clearer. What makes these practices really special is that they're ours alone. No one else has the same special words or the same way of enjoying quiet time. This makes our practice very personal and powerful, something that fits us perfectly, like a key fits a lock. When we make a habit of repeating our special phrases and spending time quietly, we start to notice that we feel more present and alive in our daily lives. It's like we're more awake to the beauty of the world and the people around us. This makes every day brighter and more interesting. These personal practices remind us that we have a lot of strength inside. Even when things seem hard, our special phrases and quiet times can be like a cozy blanket making us feel secure and reminding us that we can handle anything that comes our way. Talking about our special phrases and quiet times with others can be nice, but the real magic happens inside us. It's a personal journey that makes us feel more at peace and gives us a deep sense of joy that's just for us. Keeping these practices private makes them even more powerful. It's a time when we can be completely honest with ourselves away from anyone else's opinions or judgments. This helps us feel safe to explore deeper thoughts and feelings. Choosing to have these personal practices shows that we really care about ourselves. It's like giving ourselves a gift of kindness and attention, saying that our happiness and peace of mind are important. Over time, these practices can really change how we see the world. We might find ourselves feeling calmer when things get tough, or noticing the good in situations where we used to see only problems. These small changes can make our whole life feel more joyful and peaceful. This journey doesn't really end. As we grow and change, so might our special phrases or the way we enjoy our quiet time. It's an adventure that keeps evolving, just like we do, always bringing new insights and happiness. Embracing our own special phrases and quiet times is like unlocking the door to our own secret garden, a place where we can find strength, peace, and a deep connection to who we really are. It's a journey that brightens our lives from the inside out, giving us the tools to face the world with a calm heart and a clear mind. Conclusion 
We've been on a special journey together, exploring all sorts of ideas on how to live a life filled with kindness, understanding, and joy. From learning to appreciate our own unique paths to finding peace and strength in quiet moments, each step has shown us something valuable about how to be our best selves. It's like we've been collecting pieces of a treasure map, and each piece has helped us see a bit more clearly the path to a happy and fulfilling life. Along the way, we've discovered the importance of treating others with kindness, even when no one is watching, and how saying good things instead of bad can make a big difference in the world around us. We've talked about how everyone has their own way of finding peace and how special and personal practices like saying meaningful phrases to ourselves or sitting quietly can help us feel more at peace and connected to the world. But the journey doesn't stop here. Every day gives us new chances to use what we've learned, to spread kindness, to be positive, and to support each other on our paths. It's like we're all gardeners in a big, beautiful garden. With care and attention, we can help it grow into a place full of life, color, and joy, where everyone feels welcome and cherished. Remember, the treasures we've been searching for on this journey aren't hidden in some far-off land. They're right here, in the kind words we share, in the moments of quiet where we find peace, and in the ways we respect and celebrate each other's journeys. These treasures are the moments of connection, understanding, and love that we create every day. So, let's keep walking this path together, using what we've learned to make the world a brighter, kinder place. Let's hold on to the lessons about kindness, understanding, and finding peace within ourselves. And let's never forget that the most beautiful treasures are the ones we find in each other and in the journey we share. Thank you for being part of this journey. Let's keep moving forward with open hearts and curious minds, ready to discover even more treasures along the way. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.